Well, here we are, folks. Right, the pigeon got killed here. And I should have the microwave the other way around. Um, how do I do that? Oh, it doesn't matter. The body, I moved over here with a spade. But look at this. It's got his head completely ripped off. Now, what would have done that? I've got my cat inside. She wouldn't have done that. She's too small. And she hasn't been out today. But um, the only creatures that do come through here, you get the badgers, but I don't think they would have killed him. Um, there's a few big cats that do walk through here. They may have brought the pigeon down. Or maybe the cat brought the pigeon down. I'm not sure whether this was killed today or last night. I've got a feeling it was today. It looks pretty fresh. And I didn't see anything yesterday. And I'm sure when I came out this morning there was nothing there, so it might have happened between me coming out this morning and uh, coming out just a moment ago and just moving the body. Um, <clears throat> you did get birds of prey here. I don't think that would have been a bird of prey, would it? That would knock that pigeon out. I don't know. My guess would be a big cat. There is a big cat that does come through here. We're not talking lions and tigers, of course. Just a big domestic cat, tomcat. He's actually quite friendly. He usually speaks, but um, you know what cats are like. So um, anyway, there it is, the murdered pigeon. Looks like it's been very brutal. Look at that. Poor chap. Because they do hang out in that tree up there. I mean, I've given him some bird seed and stuff. Although we need to fill up our bird feeder. There's nothing in there at the moment. So every time I fill that up, the jackdaws eat all the bird seed. I don't want to feed the little birds, really, but uh, of course the big birds get it first. So yeah, I was just about to do my little run and I came across that. So that's where the pigeons hang out, at that tree there. So they might all be in a state of trauma after this poor pigeon has been murdered in cold blood. I mean, it looks like somebody, something has been hacking at the body, but hasn't eaten, has it? It's taken its head off. So if anybody got any ideas on what I might, might have killed poor pigeon here, let us know in the comments below, poor chap, or poor lady. And now the crows are cleaning up what's left behind of the pigeon. I won't go out because I'll scare them off, but you can see them there. And zoom in a bit. So they're kind of like walking about, going backwards and forwards. And that's where the pigeon was downed, and just around the corner is where I put the body. There's my cat, Tills. She's just like looking outside. She wants to go, I'm not going to let her out while that's out there. Today. What do you think, Tills? Wasn't you, was it? Mm. Well, she, she sleeps next to the window. She knows she likes to see what's going on outside. So you might be a witness, mightn't you? Eh? Is it your boyfriend, Mr. Tomcat? Eh? Oh, I just got this camera. There's loads of them now. Cleaning up the mess. They're all there, kind of swarming about, going backwards and forwards towards the pile of feathers and the body. Perhaps that was the crows that actually hacked into the side of the body. But I don't think they would have ripped its head off. But they might have been, you know, pecking out the body for the meat in a vulturesque kind of fashion. 
Anyway, that's what's been going on today here. I thought I'd um, show everybody on this sad moment. So there we are. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.